Hey, Facebook Live, it's time for another episode of Ask a Motor Cop. I'm your motor cop, Officer Shane Spielman. Today we have a new spin on things. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, I'd like to do a magic trick. Oh, let's see, what do I got in here? What is this? What is this? Well, I'm just going to have to pull this out and show everyone. Huh. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a nice little piece of silk. Check that out. Bam! Oh, now it's a flower. Pretty cool, huh, Steve? Nice job. It's a magical flower, Steve. Would you like to smell it? Not today. <laughs> Hope you guys like that. So I can do other things besides ride a motorcycle and write tickets. All right, now the purpose of the show. Today, in honor of Child Passenger Safety Week, we're going to play a little game called Spin the Wheel. So I have my... Uh, compadres up here and all of us are trained child uh, passenger safety technicians so what that means is we inspect child car seats and make sure that they're installed properly so with the uh, questions that were submitted uh, by you about child passenger safety we're gonna play a little game I'm gonna spin this wheel whose ever picture it lands on they will have to answer the question so with that I'd like to introduce my my friends today on my far left here I have motor officer Oscar Ione Hi. To my immediate left, off motor officer Steve Anderson. To my right, traffic investigator Gonzalo Perez. And to my far right here, traffic specialist Arumi Hernandez. Uh, thank you all for helping me out today. I greatly appreciate it. You guys ready to play the game? Sure. Yes. All right, here we go. So let's spin the wheel. All right. Looks like Gonzalo, you're our first contestant on Spin the Wheel. And the first question is, Gonzalo, Tracy asks, can you explain the steps necessary to move, excuse me, the steps necessary to determine when it is safe for a child to move to an adult seatbelt? Well, sure, that's a great question. Um, first, uh, we wanna talk about what the law says. The mm -hmm. California law says uh, any child under the age of eight needs to be in a car seat. So if your child is eight years or older and you're contemplating moving them into a, um, uh, adult seat belt um, some of the things that you need to look at is the position of the shoulder harness or the shoulder belt along the uh, uh, the shoulder uh, you need to make sure it sits flat on the shoulder and the center and then it also sits um, uh, uh, center on the on the chest uh, you also need to make sure that the bottom uh, the child's bottom is sits all the way back against the uh, seat rest um, you need to make sure that the knees bend at the edge of the cushion and um, that the uh, seat belt um, is properly positioned along the hips right. and the waist. Perfect. Great. Thank you, Gonzalo. Appreciate that. All right. Next question. Another spin of the wheel. And who do we got? Oh, we've got Arumi. Arumi, Laura asked, do car seats really expire? How many years of daily use until they need to be replaced? Yes, Laura. Car seats do <clears throat> expire. Um, it depends. All car seats are different. It normally lasts six years. Uh, you would have to check the manual with the different car seat that you get. Um, but you do have to keep in mind that everything expires. It gets old. It's plastic. So with the time, the heat, the cold, it's going to change the plastic. And it's not going to be as strong as it was when it was first made. So, yes, it does expire. Perfect. Thank you, Rumi. All right. Back to our wheel. And our next victim is Steve. Steve, you got the next question. And Johnny asked, which seat in the car is the safest place for the child's car seat? Okay, Johnny. In that, a couple things you got to look at. First off, easiest to say is in the back seat, in the middle is the safest. But with that, you also have to think about what does the manufacturer say? Pull out the car manual and look at it. Sometimes it's not the best place to put it. Sometimes the seat belt's not may not be right. Also check the manual of the car seat. You gotta make sure they match. And if they, you can place it in the middle back seat, that's the safest place to put it. But make sure you check with the manufacturer to make sure that's where it should be. Perfect, thank you, Steve. All right, and here we go again. And you know what? Let's have Oscar answer a question. <laughs> Oscar, uh, the next question is from Christina. And is it true that I have to replace my child's car seat after being in an accident? Uh, Christina, yes. Uh, California Insurance Code provides that uh, insurance companies need to replace your car seat if it's been involved in an accident and the child was using that seat. 
Uh, Oscar, just to follow up on that, why would it be good to re actually replace a car seat that's been used in a, or that was involved in a traffic collision? Well, when the car seat is being used and it's been involved in an accident, uh, the harness is made of nylon. Those uh, parts will stretch right. and other plastic parts in the car seat might break also. So it's very important that uh, you get it replaced. Yeah, exactly. So obviously, if a car seat's been used in a traffic collision, there have been stresses put on it, and it's no longer going to be safe. It's not going to be as if it was brand new, everything nice and snug. So very good piece of advice there. All right, we have one more question. Who's going to be our victim? Spin of the wheel. Back to Steve. Steve, last question. Lisa asks, would you recommend a used or hand-me-down car seat? Well, Lisa goes back to what the question just before. Do you know the history of it? One of the things you have to think about if it was involved in an accident, as an earlier question, is it expired? So really, when I look at it and you ask if that's a good idea, I would say no, it's best to get a, a new car seat for the child and follow the manufacturer's recommendations on that one. Awesome, awesome. I would like to thank my contestants who participated today. I'm gonna to do a quick tally of the score. Um, they call me a human computer, so give me just a moment. Three times pi, carry the one, divided by 20, add 60. And the winner is? Well, the winner is you at home watching this. Parents, hopefully you learned something today about child passenger safety, and you gained some knowledge on how to keep your child safe. I want to thank you for watching, and please spread the word about child passenger safety. Make sure you check expiration dates. Make sure you know the history of your child's car seat. Um, as always, if you like this video, stay tuned for more. We will have a Halloween special video, so please stick around. And if you like this video, please share it and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and remember, if you do have any questions about child passenger safety, get in touch with us. You can either call us or send us a message on social media. We'll be more than happy to help you with that. All right, folks, thanks again for helping me. I greatly appreciate it. I have prizes for you. Everybody gets a trophy today. Let me just get these out. Don't all jump in at once. I'm out. For the donut, Shane. I get the green one. <laughs>